A very good evening, one and all. Respected mentors of Indian Pharmaceutical Association, principals from pharmacy colleges across the nation, the team of the Healthy Mind, our executives and the student coordinators from Indian Pharmaceutical Association Students Forum, and my dear students, very warm and hearty welcome to all. Thanks for accepting our request and being here to know something about the mental health and its importance in everyone's life. I will not take much time and in no time, I'll hand over the mic to our chairperson, Pregna Ma'am. She will take you through our events that we have done in this past two to three months, more yes. recently, this COVID-19 period. Ma'am, over to you, Pregna Ma'am. Uh, good evening to all the respected participants. Myself, Pregna Illa, chairperson, IPASF. And special greetings on behalf of IPASF to respected uh, president of uh, IPA, Dr. T.V. Narayanasir, and president. Uh, and he's also the president for CR Farm Forum. So thank you so much for joining us, uh, joining with us today. And we are so happy uh, for all the guidance and support that we had received for all the activities that we had done in this lockdown. And, uh, and thank you once again for encouraging us to move forward uh, with another initiative, sir. Uh, thanks a lot. A warm welcome to all principals, faculty members, and members from IPA, and to all the participants from different colleges across the nation. And my warm welcome to Maliha Sable, ma'am, uh, who is a speaker today. Uh, thank you so much for accepting our invitation, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, before going to listen to uh, uh, the valuable words from our president, Narayana Sir, uh, I would like to explain the activities that we have done uh, so far in this lockdown. So as a part of that, under the Committee of Public Health, we had done some challenges, awareness campaigns, and uh, some uh, flyers and handbooks also, in order to create um, much more awareness regarding the corona. And in there, some yoga challenges also there, as so many students uh, uh, also gave their responses and they felt very happy. Whereas under the Pharmacy Education Committee activities, we had done webinars in the listen to listen. It's a very, very... Uh, popular one in this lockdown among uh, so many webinars and uh, yes we receive a lot of support and guidance from IPA in organizing that one and collaborations uh, are like uh, we collaborated with Recourse Climate uh, for the pharmacology course which is going to be start from October 6th uh, next month and with Pharmacon Society for Pharmacy Practice to guide for internships and all and uh, the initiatives are like a Mnemonics Monday, Worthy Wednesday and Pharma Friday and to show the sign language which is completely for the uh, dumb and deaf people. There's interactive sessions also we had done uh, to give uh, some suggestions uh, and to, uh, to all the students like and to take uh, the valuable suggestions from uh, the great people like Kevin Aranis and Rao Adlamodi sir. So with them we had conducted some interactive sessions through Instagram. And then now uh, whereas coming to our uh, editorial uh, is coming to the public relations thing in that uh, we had done so many things like a uh, student chapters initiation whereas in this lockdown also we are in connection with uh, so many colleges where as they are interested to uh, to join in the IPS family and the collaborations are like uh, yes along with the collaborations what I had said earlier, uh, earlier Pharmacard is also one of the most fun and Pharmacard is a knowledge partner for our today's webinar also and social engagements like uh, we started YouTube and it is receiving a tremendous support uh, in form of subscribers and LinkedIn, Twitter. Yes, we are also active in that. Coming to editorial uh, works, we released a panache live and it was uh, appreciated by uh, the great people from IPA and uh, students. Uh, uh, students also liked it very much and they are sending more and more uh, inputs for that for the second edition. And now within soon we are releasing the second edition also with a lot more content which is very very helpful for the farmer students yes these are all the activities and there are so many to come at definitely i look forward uh, to work with all the people all the farmer students across the nation and i on this occasion i would like to ask uh, all the students uh, from different colleges to join in ipsf and to be in touch with all the activities what, what we have done to learn many more Thank you so much, Rehem. So with this uh, brief uh, introduction about all our activities, uh, I would like to ask our president, Dr. Tevi Narayana, sir, to give his valuable uh, remarks. Sir, over to you, sir. Oh, Dr. Pragna, for uh, briefing the activities of IPA Students Forum. Uh, and first of all, uh, I congratulate the IPA Students Forum team 
for their commendable contribution to the society during this covid-19 pandemic not only during this covid-19 even for the activities they organized for the past one year i appreciate uh, on behalf of indian pharmaceutical association and also organizing series of activities for the past uh, six months i had been watching all the activities and participating in all the activities really it is a very good move of ipasf you are able to give your presence to the pharmacy profession and now ipasf is expanding in all parts of our nation at various places i am receiving so many calls from various state branches and colleges they are showing their interest to start the student chapters at various places so that ipasf can expand their role and activities throughout the nation and even the signages project uh, last time when we discussed during the ipasf interaction meet the project was put before the cr form forum committee uh, during the fip meeting and mostly we may get this as a project official project of fip and cr form forum shortly where the students will be having lot of uh, activities and a lot many uh, projects in future that's what we are planning from fip and even also from cr form forum and uh, really Uh, all the activities what they have organized interacting with uh, eminent personalities resource persons and calling them from us uk and uh, highlighting the expertise what they are having and uh, disseminating the knowledge to our students definitely going to be all their uh, character and all their uh, activities how mm. does it and on this uh, behalf of indian farm food association better, i thank uh, dr maliba sabal who is the resource person today i welcome her to this webinar and uh, our uh, thanks to her who thank is you, a founder founder and a director of uh, at healthy mind and uh, who is a uk accredited uh, psychotherapist and researcher who accepted the invitation and came here to share her expertise on the burning topic that is mental health and well being and uh, this uh, mental health and well being it is a topic of uh, need today because the so called lifestyle changes of the normal human life and also unseen unseen circumstances like covid 19 pandemic several incidents were had about this mental health and well being definitely this is going to be useful particularly for the students you can make use of the expertise of uh, uh, dr maliva and propagate this through all our student chapters all our branches what precautions they have to take and what are the uh, preventive measures uh, the students should take to not to undergo this uh, mental agony and all these things so that's what uh, it is a good choice of topic of uh, particularly for the students we have seen several incidents the online classes during this covid 19 pandemic particularly the school children were under lot of mental agony that's what i had so many cases even the students of uh, professional courses because they have to go, go the examination online and they have to face so many challenges online during this covid 19 pandemic creating lot of disturbances in their regular lifestyle that's what uh, you should learn the good things from our resource person and try to be maintain a good health that's what i want to suggest the students the wellness it is a state of living health lifestyle that's what uh, you know she is the expert going to brief you all and wellness is a active process of becoming aware It is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being. That's what, with these few words of uh, introduction, I once again welcome our resource person, and I sincerely thank her on behalf of Indian Pharmaceutical Association for accepting the request of IPSF and becoming a resource person. I once again congratulate the IPSF team, led by Dr. Pragnaella, for the wonderful efforts. and uh, i wish many more activities like this in future 
uh, and promote the IPA, IPSF activities throughout the nation, not only nationally, but internationally also. I wish them all success in their future endeavors. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. And over to Pragna. Uh, sir, thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much for joining us uh, with this small request. It's a, it's a honor for all of us, sir. Uh, and we know that you are there for all of us every time. And um, with all our support, definitely we will reach many more things in future, sir. Thank you so much. And um, yes, definitely on this occasion, I also request all the students to participate in all the competitions uh, started by IPA. There are so many competitions and so many cash prizes also there, um, uh, which are initiated by Dr. Tevin Aranesir by different divisions of IPA. So students, please participate in all of them. They are uh, so. Uh, don't hide all your talent, just bring it out. So definitely there will be good opportunities for all of you. So thank you and over to Rahmatullah. Thank you ma'am. Uh, Pragna, I have to go for a FIP meeting. If you don't mind, I will go for the FIP meeting. But anyhow, I will keep updated uh, the session. Okay. Yes. Thank, thank you sir. Thank you for your time. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks for providing the opportunity for being the moderator for today's session. Yeah, uh, till now we are conducted with many topics and many events in this lockdown period. And now this current webinar is all about the mental health and how it plays a major role and how it contributes to everyone's life. If you ask me why, why should we pay attention to mental health, I will talk about the statement that was given by the Director General of the World Health Organization. He stated that the world is accepting the concept of universal health coverage. And he also stated that mental health must be an integral part of universal health coverage. Nobody should be denied access to mental health care because she or he is poor or lives in a remote place. As a healthcare professional, it's all our responsibility to take this mental health care to every remote place and every remote place and every area. And from the beginning, I'm talking about the mental health, mental health and all. So what exactly is this mental health? Anyway, ma'am is going to explain about that, but I just want to mention one thing. The mental health is a state of well-being in which the individual realizes that his or her own abilities can cope with the normal stresses of the life and can work productively and fruitfully and is able to make a contribution to his or her community. As for the recent reports, the mental illness affects about 19% of adult population, 46% of the teenagers, and 13% of children per year. People struggling with mental health may be in your family, or the person who lives next door, or the teacher who teaches your children, or maybe the person who works next cubicle. And the saddest part here is only half of those people who are affected are receiving the treatment because of the societal stigma attached to the mental health. In more places and reducing the societal stigma about, about the mental illness. And the third one is to create an awareness among people about mental health and its importance in everyone's life. And these are the three, these three things are the driving forces for this webinar. And we are working on a bunch of initiatives that will help you habituating this new normal. And we hope this webinar will add a tremendous value to advance your career, even during these tough times. We feel privileged to collaborate with such a well-known organization, The Healthy Mind. I would like to convey my deep sense of gratitude to Dr. Maliha Sable, who is the founder and director at Healthy Mind for bringing such a wonderful webinar and a wonderful topic. We are glad. Yes, ma'am. Yes, we are. And we are glad for choosing IPASF as a bridge between the healthy mind and the angsters who undeniably needs to know more about the mental health and stability. I will take the honor of introducing today's speaker, Dr. Maliha Sable, for the session. Dr. Maliha Sable is the founder and director at Healthy Mind. She is a mental health clinician and a UK accredited psychotherapist and a researcher. She has been specializing in mental health for years. With her education, knowledge, and expertise, she is helping people to seek rich treatment. She is having rich experience in research and development, 
she was also performed her own clinical research with the honor of receiving an award and rci recognition at the international mental health conference she has been awarded twice in india for her work and has been nominated nominated for the with a passion of healing she is running her own mental health firm the healthy mind which is one of the prestigious mental health firms in india it was established in 2017 and it's a global platform providing treatments and services internationally where her great passion is bringing healing to people who have been through a traumatic or stressful experience it's our privilege for having such a great personality with us to train our students on mental health and its importance in today's session on the theme mental health and wellness with these few words and without any delay i would like to invite the most beautiful and the talented lady to take over the session ma'am now the session is yours thank you so much um, for this wonderful introduction and uh, it's an honor for me to be here with the uh, ipasf and uh, you know talking for mental health and wellness among youngsters and youth as uh, of course this pandemic has actually impacted the minds of you and it's somehow you know um, giving a negative impact on the work they are doing and this can be you know this can be more better than actually forming an activity on mental health and wellness with such a amazing uh, um, forum thank you so thank you again and uh, yes uh, today's topic is mental health and wellness but i know this a uh, topic can be you know uh, can be quite uh, boring and uh, like sort of a lecture i understand completely i'm part of a youth though but uh, i'll make sure that uh, no one is getting bored and of course somebody gets bored you can just tell me we could just start gossiping okay <laughs> about what is going on um, in each other's life so uh, yeah so on serious note we can begin now and uh, to start with i want uh, mr rahmatullah to show a quick video which can be uh, sort of interesting and also knowledgeable for the people to get, get an idea about mental health physical health but just health thank you so much ramita for showing uh, this video so um, as you all saw that this video was about mental health and how stigma is actually associated with the, you know our society uh, so to begin for the i first want to know like what language are you comfortable with english hindi what would be uh, good for you to uh, discuss this topic yeah ma'am i think everybody are comfortable with english so okay yeah ma'am it's okay if you speak in english or hindi okay perfect yeah then we will move ahead with english okay yes ma'am so um, we have been hearing this term actually mental health everywhere thank you so much first of all everyone to uh, reply to my question okay so uh, we have been hearing this terminology mental health every way like mental health is important mental health should be a priority there are quotes like hundreds and numbers of quotes on mental health but do we actually know what is mental health yes of course we have read the books on mental health we have read the definitions on mental health yeah i tell that if i'm not a part of mental health industry i would tell that uh, yeah i know about i have heard about mental health i have read the books but do we actually know how mental health plays a role in our life maybe in our career to build a good business to be amazingly successful in every part of life mental health is important it's not just a health care it's not just a term that is used to tell people that yeah depression happens anxiety happens these are the only two disorders which are famous and of course ocd among celebs that are uh, any other celebrities come and tell that yeah i'm suffering from ocd i have ocd because i want to keep things clean no it's not just that mental health is way more so as rahmatullah first address the definition of mental health absolutely that is the right definition that is correct also to add on a bit i would say 
again that mental health is emotional social and psychological well-being but when there is a well-being it affects on how we feel how we act and how we think you know being address how to determine stress and relate to other stresses or um meet is make our decisions it all happens when we are um emotionally psychologically and socially well but to understand the mental health being mentally normal we first need to understand the term mentally abnormal or mental illness we have heard also about that term a lot that you are abnormal maybe you are psycho maybe you are mad crazy what not terms we are using in the society but do we actually understand what is mental illness so mental illness is something when you start feeling that things are not going according to your way in this pandemic situation itself um being a youth you know we are we are habituated of meeting friends we are habituated of uh, going on to a job or work from that particular cabin or from that particular table which i'm used to or you know um go daily to the institutes to our institutes and uh, enjoy amazing we also study but we most often enjoy a lot so this is the things we are habituated to meeting close ones and a lot more but when these things are no more our cup of tea we feel like no i'm not even interested in doing uh doing that i if a friends call you a friend of yours a best friend of yours calls you calls you and says chalo let's meet um we will uh, keep all the protection we will use sanitizer we will use a uh, um, mask everything but uh, chalo let's meet and no we are not doing that we say no i'm not no uh, i'm no more interested i don't want to meet friend ask why i i am your best friend i miss you chalo let's meet and you you say nahi mera man hi nahi hai i don't want to meet and i'm not interested and phone gets disconnected you you don't realize why it's happening but is it it is actually happening with you okay this is something part of our daily routine maybe which has which is actually turned out to be in pandemic again if we uh, see if we have changed our way of thinking our uh, way of thinking has changed into negative we are most often thinking negatively about things maybe uh, the thing which i was best at now i think to be i'm not good at it anymore i think uh, i was habituated to studying daily now again the government has told that exam will happen so i don't think like i'll study anymore um it's like uh, i have forgot everything i can't uh, again revise in one go i don't know i'm afraid i don't want to do this are the emotions we are going going through actually and uh, the way we are feeling about things the past was something like we were feeling much motivated much better now we are feeling negative this is all happening due to that mental health we were talking about Yes. it's actually the mental abnormality here you realize when this everything all is going on with you you realize there is some mental abnormality with you. again abnormality is a term where we use uh, to be like okay people are abnormal uh, and uh, we it's quite insulting and again it's normal i believe there is no one abnormal in the society this is just a scientific terminology which me you everybody is using but what i believe is everybody is normal even the psychotic person is normal why because it's just an another health condition just like physical health it's not a, such a big deal that oh my god this person is crazy no that person is crazy he'll be okay this is the thing which we have to address coming to that you know i'll just address few symptoms here when this mental illness actually when this uh, symptoms which we talked about the feelings the emotions which we uh, you know somehow feel negative about start interfering uh, with our daily routines daily activity maybe i was working out tremendously before because gyms were open 
now i don't feel like working out even the gyms are again open why this transformation has occurred it's not something like you are lazy now it's because there is something wrong with your mental health maybe performing the activities which previously you were in some people are very good at singing very good at dancing painting these are the things which we don't choose as a profession though but uh, we are very good at it and we are no more interested in doing that why is happening it's not we consider it to be okay i'm not interested in doing that there is a competition which where you there were people uh, close ones of you are forcing you to join it's just for fun you can join you, you don't have to worry about losing or winning you just have to join it person says no i don't know i'm i know i'm very good at it i am brilliant in performing that activity but i don't feel like doing it i start social distancing from actually close ones though we have to social distance from everybody around but we are actually you know mentally start a socially distancing from people from the people we are living with we start living alone we sleep a lot is happening in pandemic there is a tremendous change in sleeping routine and some people though they are getting a lot of chance to sleep they are not able to sleep some people feel like i don't know i'm not able to sleep i'm not able to sleep from years and that's now my habit i don't care now this is this something which we are actually going through so here you must realize that you are mentally ill and it's okay just like we we feel that we have fever and and we go and tell people that we have fever check me check me so it's something like um, be pretty pretty interested that excited that people will uh, say me yes to have fever you must rest and it will good similarly just a mental illness just other mental illness which we have to talk about we we must go to people and tell i could close ones maybe we don't have to search for people out we have people around us living with us maybe your friend maybe your um parent or sibling anybody you have to go to them and talk to them about yeah i'm feeling this this way you know just listen to me for a while you can't tell that person to check me as you were doing with fever because that person is not that uh, you know professional in doing that but the person can sit and listen to you. and sometimes you know you don't need person to actually treat you you don't really expect a person to actually come up and just make you feel okay sometimes it's just that you want person to listen to you even if you don't realize at that moment you feel like okay come sit here i want to talk to you about something you just go you speak and if person is advising you you feel offended why are you advising me person says because you are telling me such things that i feel like i should advise you no i don't want you advice i just wanted to listen i just wanted to make you listen to me similarly it happens with any other mental illness you just want person to listen to you and then when you think that actually this illness is impacting my daily routine my life then you come up to professional and you must seek help even professionals are sometimes me being a, a psychotherapist maybe i have a like, okay accreditation i am um, i'm doing good in this field but some other other way you know i also feel like uh i need people to make them hear me so what i do i just go to my doctor and i make them say i don't want to hear it yeah i know what i have to do but please listen to me so it feels good it actually feels relaxing and um i know i have been blabbering about mental health and you know, how do we how it actually plays a role uh, in our life so i want everyone to you know participate in a sort of imagination activity i want everybody to imagine what i see theek okay? hai so i want everyone to just uh, make uh, that what is that raising a uh, hand emoji to my chat so that i see that everybody is participating in this activity okay you have to sit relax and send me the um, emoji right now perfect
Okay, as I see, everybody is sitting relaxed and uh, actually participating in the activity. Uh, fun. Okay, so uh, let's do it then. I want everybody to imagine that we are, you know, we are not talking virtually. You people are just sitting like previous guest lecture. You are uh, sitting in the audience, okay? everybody of you. And um, I am just replaced with that guest lecture. I, a lecturer, I'm just standing on the stage and I'll talk, I'm talking, talking, talking. Okay? And you are sitting in the audience. Imagine the scenario. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now the post comes where I actually can ask any one of you. I don't know your name by now. Okay? I can, there will be no biasness as such. I'll ask any one of you to come up, be here with me on the stage, be here in front of everyone and talk anything about you, about yourself. Just speak about it. Okay? And I'll make sure that everyone laughs at you. I'll ask everybody that, okay, laugh. What will be your reaction? Some way or the other, I'm announcing that, okay, now I'll choose. Okay, someone said, I'll come. Okay, let's see. Uh, then we should, you know, someday arrange the seminar where I'll ask them, okay, I'll come. And uh, I'll ask that person to say things about uh, that was yourself and everybody will laugh at you. Very confident though, but... Um, you will feel some kind of exactly anxiousness maybe not really an anxiousness but signs of it maybe you will breathe heavy and if not heavy you will shiver a bit not shivering you will start sweating your heart will pound faster these things will actually occur with every one of you, even it does with me. Why it is all happening? What is that that actually happens whenever uh, teachers call a uh, teacher calls out my name? Why is that happening when I have to go out on the stage and perform? Why actually does it happen? Why does it happen when crush messages me? Because those are the signs of stress. Yes, that was actually a stress that you were in. Maybe some people mentioned here that little notes. Exactly. Maybe it can be little stress. That is right. That is right, could be. So here I want to understand that does this thing which I told you, are you relatable to it? Just raise your hands. Does it happen with all of you? Yes. Exactly. So, you know, this stress actually, little amount of stress, if we are stressful a lot of time or uh, this actual stress which we are uh, suffering through every no now and then whenever our crush messages us or uh, uh, maybe you know we are supposed to go on stage or maybe we have to perform a presentation in front of our whole class what happens actually um, the stress which we are feeling uh, can be constant like can be uh, occurring every now and then or maybe if it's not occurring every now and then, the stress which happens, the moment you are in stress can dif be differentiated on the severity level. I'll uh, exemplify it, the severity level. So basically you, me, everybody sitting uh, and attending this session are different, are different souls, have different bodies. So even if um, I tell you or you tell me that I'm stressed or everyone tells me that we are stressed, the body response to it will be different. Everyone won't really start shivering at the same moment. 
everyone uh, won't uh, really start sweating at that particular moment everybody's body response to stress will be different mm -hmm. i'm getting amazing responses here and uh, thanks so much for the responses uh, so we will come to it again okay so coming to uh, this point uh, that everybody has different uh, responses body responses to stress and uh, i'll i'll tell you a story which happened okay it was actually a research but uh, we will talk in kind of a story okay but bed them story a uh, knowledgeable bed them story uh, so what happened was around you know um 30000 people were uh, participants of that research and uh, it was actually conducted for 8 years long okay so here what researchers thought were uh, thoughts were they were about to track those participants those 30000 participants uh, around the 8 years and they would uh, probably would have taken out the records and uh, maybe search for finding the you know maybe cross check the finding which uh, they were maybe the hypothesis which were made previously maybe uh, the assumption that yes yeah, this will be the answer they would have cross checked but what happened here was they actually uh, asked every participant every 30000 participant all the 30000 people uh, two questions one question was uh, what do you think is stress harmful for your health this was first question so what do you think is stress harmful for your health just raise your hands if you feel so. yes okay so i'm getting the answers to be yes theek hai and uh, the other question was the second question the second question was how much amount of stress have you experienced from last year till now how much amount of stress maybe mild mild means little maybe moderate that is medium kind of level Okay, and maybe severe. That is very high. A lot of stress. So, how much amount of stress have you experienced? So, I want to know mild level of stress. Raise your hands. Little amount of stress. Raise your hands. Okay. Level of stress. Till now. What do you? What do you? Uh, however, you remember how much amount of stress you uh, you know you experience. You can just tell. Uh, okay i see and severe level of stress mhm mm okay so i see people most of people are commenting moderate level of stress most people are commenting severe and uh, very less are with mild level of stress okay so in that study people answered similarly and what they told was yes stress is harmful other answer was severe level of stress okay so now researcher had to work researcher obviously had to take out answers na okay, how do we find out what is what is our finding and this can't be concluded here so what they did was they actually tracked down the public death records death records of all the people all the participants from last 8 years and the surprising results were actually like the people who told stress is harmful and stress is very severe they experienced severe level of stress and of course this was just a one group i'm talking about okay and there was other group who actually told that they experienced severe level of stress again both the groups experienced high level of stress but one group said that the stress is harmful for their health other group said that uh, stress is not uh, harmful at all for their health so according to death records it was found out to be like the people who actually told that stress is harmful and stress uh, they experienced severe level of stress died yeah it happened and the people who told that uh, stress is not harmful yet they experience severe level of stress same amount of stress 
they were still alive so this study i chose here to talk about why i'll tell you the reasons the records uh, the which this study gave was actually surprising you know there was same number of stress same amount of stress severe level of stress was on, on both the teens and both the uh, groups but there was a difference in way they were thinking about stress maybe a group thought to be severe and another group thought to be um, not severe so this study got me wondering that just changing the way we think about stress can actually change the way a body responds to stress does can this happen i you know i started noticing the change in my patients after that post uh, reading this study what i did was actually i tried this experiment on my patients um, there were all the patients with were different illnesses different disorders but uh, there was a common thing which was stress in every patient so what i did was i actually helped them to think that stress is not harmful okay instead of telling them uh, sorry telling them that uh, don't be stressed don't take stress okay don't take stress at all whenever there will be a stress just uh, jump on this particular technique which i taught them previously and uh, just do that and you will be just relieved achana say you will be relieved from stress i actually told them and it was working but then i started telling them that instead of doing that activity you know what don't do that activity. don't do the technique just take the stress you're getting stress take it but instead of that what i thought them was actually the stress is not harmful and the reasons what i saw was the change in reason which i got from the treatment which i was performing before the treatment i got successful reason from treatments before them yes from all the similar techniques but the speed of recovering was different here they were actually recovering faster and earlier than previous and i was literally shocked okay so this study is indeed something i took on this study and I, now i you know i majorly speak on this study because i believe that yes changing the mindset about stress can actually help to understand it better we will again perform an activity and this time i want to perform it in a better way okay uh so i again want to see uh, how many people are interested in performing an activity just raise your hands raise your hands for all the people to who are actually interested in performing the activity now okay so i see the participants are increasing and the raising has been increased too theek okay. hai let's perform an activity here okay uh what i want you to do is um, first i want um rahmatullah to assist me with uh, yes, unmuting all of them can you please unmute all of them so now i want every and then we can perform that ma'am i think there is a lot of disturbance from their side if it is possible without unmuting them ma'am okay are you able to hear me now yes ma'am yeah okay so uh, now is everyone ready yes ma'am i think there is a lot of disturbance from their side so if we can do the okay. activity okay. without unmuting them okay it works okay. so now what i want is um, you know start counting in um, it's a math activity of course because, uh, i know some people don't like math. um but uh, we can perform it in just a counting theek okay? hai so now i want everyone to participate i want uh, everyone to participate from their homes they have to 
louder count okay so what they do is i'll give you a number hmm? i'll give you a number and uh, i'll make sure that everyone counts in minus 3 suppose the number is 500 you have to minus it with 3 back and count backwards yes ma'am yeah 500 minus 3 and count backwards like backward minus 3 then again minus 3. and you have to count faster and in speed yes ma'am and there is a twist i can call out anybody's name if i think that person has i'll believe that that person has made a mistake and uh, yeah, i'll ask some serious very pretty um, tough question and then if the person is not able to answer that i'll insert that person. it's a pretty um, um, you know cranky twist to it okay yeah? so let's begin counting okay the number is 500 i want everybody to loyally um, focus on this and uh, count backwards minus 3 Faster, oh, start counting. Faster. Ramadulla, is my voice uh, audible? Yes, ma'am. It's audible, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, please count backwards with minus three. Four ninety seven. Four ninety. Faster. Four. Four ninety four. Faster. Four ninety one. Everyone. Faster. Three eighty eight. Faster. Four hundred. Really bad. I mean, it's better to ask. Three eighty. Three eighty five. Three eighty two. Seventy nine. Three eighty two. Three eighty two. Seventy three. Three seventy nine. Ma'am, one second. One second. Hey, bye. Are you missing Dummy? Ma'am. Jim and the kids. I mean, this is going to be helpful. Are you missing Dummy? Ma'am, bye. Okay. So now I'll call that person names out, okay? Who I thought to be um, counting wrong, and I'll insult that person, okay? Okay, I see some person has left, thinking I may count his or her name, okay? Don't he? I'll tell that I'm not calling every anybody's name. I just want you to first raise your hands that. Uh, the people who actually honestly participated in the activity i want to you to raise your hands mhm mm perfect okay i see many people theek okay, very good well done okay uh, so now i want to know that when you were actually counting when you were actually participating in the activity did you you know did you feel like when i told you to count faster and move faster move faster were you actually uh, sweating or maybe you were shivering or maybe your heart was pounding faster did it happen with you just raise your hand Mm -hmm. It happened. So these were actually, you know, again we addressed before that these are the uh, little. Okay, so did actually it happened? So it is again the symptoms and signs of stress, which we previously talked about. And here it was actually the way our our heart was starting uh, to pound faster, and uh, maybe we we were sweating, we were shivering, or. in different different uh, body responses to this particular activity or the stress terminology so here what happened was it somehow interfered with our counting if i was asking you if i had asked you to sit relax calm and just count on your speed just backward normally without subtracting it 
if i would have told you this it would be like cheek if we are counting we are chilling and like we are counting normally it wouldn't have occurred to you the stress that the symptoms which previously occurred wouldn't have occurred why it's occurring now because there was some sort of stress again it interfered with uh, your activity your way of counting maybe some people were good at math but it somehow interfered with their counting too did it happen raise your hands again Mhm. Mm okay, so it happened. Now, suppose we thought this symptoms to be all positive. Okay. Uh, previously, we thought the symptoms were actually interfering with our body responses, the way we were counting and doing performing this activity. Now, suppose we think that this activity was actually helping us. The way. our heart started pounding faster help us to act immediately the way we were breathing heavy helped us to take our oxygen to our brain which helped again in good and good amount of flow of blood and blood circulation was proper this is actually you know the symptoms which we got now were actually good then it actually helped our body functioning and what happened then we were out of stress and we were you know we were uh, away from all the diseases that could happen that could have happened uh, this is some activity which we are performing now but it may happen with you in your daily schedule when you actually you know perform and go through the symptoms and it is helping you with your body functioning to do your body functioning well in this pandemic situation also there are times where our thoughts are very much negative we might have thought that we would uh, start a good business or maybe our father had lost uh, his job or maybe there is some situation occurred in your life which you didn't expect it to but it has occurred now and it somehow is giving you anxiety anxiousness and maybe it is giving you a lot of stress all the symptoms you are offering through is a part of it and maybe it is actually happening with you daily that is impacting your daily activity you know we have heard this people uh, heard this statement that people usually say that pandemic is this isolation is making me depressed making me stressed and we have um, heard many controversies and many news that uh, has uh, told us that yeah people are actually a uh, suicide people are actually attempting suicide some are died and some have died from it and it's actually happening with everyone that isolation quarantine is impacting their life it may it is making them anxious it is making them depressed am i right is this relatable raise your hand definitely yeah it is right so what suppose i say it's not isolation and quarantine that is impacting you it's not isolation and quarantine that is actually uh, making you depressed or making you anxious it's your own self it's the thought that you are getting maybe the thoughts what you had previously are not the same now you are more into like um you know it's more into like negative thought yes it's more there is a lot of time uh, for this pandemic to end i completely agree but what about that time that whole journey are you uh, are you believing that uh, maybe you want to be same with those negative thoughts do you think that because i don't really feel like that will be helpful to you maybe some people are not getting aware of it i know some people might might be thinking no this doesn't happen with us what is she talking about but yes it happens with every one of us difference is some people are aware about their negative thoughts the thoughts that are negatively impacting their life the the people around them 
they are um, those thoughts are actually making them frustrated angry and other people who are actually aware about this thought don't know what to do they are just dealing with it exactly when we look at those thought it gives us insight to so what we have to do we have to start changing we have to start realizing our thought we have to analyze our thoughts for all the people who are not aware about those thoughts who don't know if they are actually getting such similar thoughts what we can do is we can actually start looking at those thoughts and analyzing those thoughts and changing them to positive it will be like okay i'm just saying how to do that we are unable to do that how do we do that it's it's difficult no it's not difficult what we can do is you know we can actually start thinking about that particular situation or thing positively maybe you were previously when you had colleges when you had people to go to when you were actually moving out from your homes there were also there were these thoughts in you which you which you plan to be like suppose for example i'll tell you i'll simplify that thing you previously used to go to institute you used to meet your friends you uh, used to be busy in a good way but you also thought to binge on to some show which was very popular and uh, you thought that okay i'll go home and i'll watch it today. but you went home and you were so tired that you just went to sleep you thought okay next day i'll do it because i really want to do it maybe i want to participate in some activity maybe some sort of online course which will give you a certification that will actually help you with your career or with your resume to make it look uh, you know very classy and very heavy and so you thought about everything but it, there was no way of doing it and you are now actually doing everything of it you know what you are just not going out but you still are attending your lectures you are still attending your online classes and that is not enough you have video conferencing you can actually video call your friends video call everyone you who you want to talk to there is a same way uh, things are moving similarly but the source has changed a bit and now you are doing it all of that and still getting much time to binge on to that show which you were not able to do you know you were you are actually getting to meet people on video call and still have a lot of time for yourself and family you can actually perform the activity at your home you have your me time now which you were actually struggling to get it can be tough you know it can be tough actually be isolated in your homes and not go out and you know talk to same people every day and there is no such change but there is a good thing about it you are actually getting a lot of time for yourself it's just that you have to manage it it's not about like maintaining a time table or jotting down a time table yes i have to wake up at this time i have to wake up early i have to go to bed early or uh, maybe you have to perform all the things on time no it's not about it but you have to accomplish everything which you are planning for a day has to be done just like how about we uh, you know wake up uh, early or maybe i'm going to bed tonight and i think that okay i'll wake up early tomorrow or maybe just at the same time i know some people are actually waking up at 12 pm and um, or one or maybe the early is 10 am i understand about it but how about we plan our day um, a day before suppose i think that okay i'll i'll wake up on my time i'll go to i'll go in my garden area i'll not in my garden area then i'll just go to my living room i'll go in my hall and i'll work out i'll binge watch a show i'll freshen up i'll um the i'll complete an assignment which my professor has given me that has to be done because there is a deadline and uh, then i'll you know i'll plan what i want to do in my future maybe i'm thinking to uh, 
take part in a research or maybe i want to launch something or maybe i want to do this we can plan it accordingly in this era social media is such a huge job platform that people are actually responsible of sharing post every day yeah that is happening because otherwise how will the followers be in right this is happening and actually you know what this can be a task which you have to do you don't need to actually go by rules and regulations that society has made for you you can make your own and you have to work accordingly what my point is this pandemic is not actually you know making you depressed and anxious it's your thought it's yourself when you start looking at things positively like the way i am telling you i'll tell you a heart of the session you know when you change your mind about stress you change you change you can change your body response to it i have told you before this but also when you start changing your thoughts which is leading to stress when you start changing your positive thoughts to negative thoughts you will start managing your life what you have to do is start looking at things positively just think for a while whenever you be stressed just while do i really have to worry about it do i really want to stress about it is this thing that you no know, is this thing that worth it that uh, i'll stress about it and just to tell you stress actually leads to major major disease and disorder maybe cancer heart attack heart disease and a lot more and yes when stress is constant when the severity level is constant it can actually help you and make you go to those into depression and anxiety and a lot of disease disorder i mean so is this thing really that important that i have to stress about on it or about it that maybe if i stress on this thing it will help me go into that disorder and be this this thing important or maybe i could just be happy i'll leave the way it is and i'll see i'll just plan things accordingly and okay reasons are uh, are what i'll get in future however we you know we have good this quote a lot kismat mein jo hota hai wo milta hai so why don't i try on it why don't i see uh, if this actually helps no maybe you could just let go on their own ways and you could just relax and see how about that how does it sound sometimes you know stressing is important but a little amount of stress can be helpful to you because it is actually acting as a motivator for you to help you get up wake up from your bed and go out and perform the activities that has to be performed in a day maybe completing a report or submitting a, an assignment or planning your future accordingly it is an indeed uh, you know it is indeed helping you but at the same time constant amount of stress a lot of stress can make you suffer through diseases and disorders and at this point what you can do is to help you deal with that anxiety and depression you just need to start looking at things in a positive manner it's not just a saying that be positive it's not just that it's more scientific when you change your thoughts you will be actually calm the hormones which releases and gives you stress will no more get released and if they get released it will be in small amount that will give you little bit of stress that is actually helping you do things and not torture you to think negatively and take drastic steps and remember i know there is unemployment everywhere and uh, final year students are actually afraid about getting a job neither an employment rate was higher before 
it's similar now it's not that you won't get employment at all you won't get a job at all it's just that the way it was used to be uh, given the way hiring process was made is taking time now the sources has changed everything is same you just need to start thinking about those situations and things positively think on it next time you know what will be changed after the session next time when you actually are stressed about things about situation you will actually be aware about it you will think that yeah this is stress the symptoms are with me and what i have to do i have to actually start looking at things positively i know if i plan it accordingly the results will come outcome has to come though uh, though you know situation has changed though sources has changed but it doesn't really impact on the way i work or way i think you have to make this thinking fit in your mind and it too will actually help you grow in your businesses in your life in your personal relationships and in every spectrum of life yeah so uh, thank you so much i hope it will actually help you and uh, i want uh, mr rahmatullah to take forward with q and a session thank you so much ma'am thank you so much, thank you so much for thank your you. wonderful presentation actually i was prepared i'm not able to hear you rahmatullah hello ma'am is it audible now yeah perfect yeah ma'am actually i was prepared for asking you some questions ma'am but you covered all the question and answers in your presentation itself. so i think there are no questions to ask you but, but uh, yeah, ma'am i was uh, supposed to ask about anxiety and depression in covid times and that stage fear or uh, fear of addressing a gathering and i just want to ask how to uh, overcome or combat fears of failure uh, for suppose uh, so many people are taking ex examinations like national entrance examinations and uh, so for suppose if people are uh, not qualifying in that or suppose people are fail, uh, failing in that so it is the time for for them to take harsh decisions so um, yeah that's what uh, i wanted to ask you but uh, okay like the fear of not qualifying the exam yes, or stage am i yes, right yes ma'am exactly okay so suppose there is no pandemic there is no covid anything and we are similarly working our we are giving everything to, to the exam the entrance preparation and uh, first i'll explain you this okay and they will actually move on to the techniques that would help yes, us sure okay? so first i want to know that suppose there was no covid 19 there was no pandemic and similar situation happened with you so, uh, there is an entrance exam you are going to entrance exam and you are not able to clear the entrance exam we are just supposing i know everyone is working harder and i believe that everyone will crack the exams okay you have to think positively as i told you but suppose this happens suppose you are not able to qualify your exam what would you have been done what you would uh, you do you would actually practice again you would actually um, tried to indulge yourself in a job or maybe you would have visited different places for the interviews and then you would have again prepared yourself for the entrance exam so we would have checked for the alternatives yeah yes exactly we would have checked for the alternatives but you know what is different now there is a fear you know we talk about fomo fear of missing out we would actually you know we uh, we actually think that suppose what if i don't qualify now and will i get the opportunities after this because there is no future seen after what will happen after pandemic actually um we won't uh, understand how will it actually work out how will the employment process work out so there's a fear yes of suppose if i'm not qualifying the exam will i get the opportunities after a year will i be able to uh, get the alternatives for me in this pandemic situation 
here the major role comes when you have to again take things positively as i said everything is similar employment process is similar the way people used to hire employees is similar only the sources of doing it and uh, you know working the way process used to work is changed this is something we call new normal it's just that yes, and sir. again we if suppose uh, we are not qualifying for the exam we again can find a lot of alternatives by just sitting from the home you don't have to think this thing you don't have to go out and uh, struggle harder each day just to find out um, where can i find the alternative what i have to do uh, where can i find out the job which place should i visit no you just have to relax in ac in your room and you have to just go through internet and talk to different com- companies or uh, send them emails and you are all set to go next day we will get an email of okay you can join in from monday this is the hiring, hiring process which is actually you know people who are hiring now it is actually happening this way pehle it would be like theek hai it will take time wait for our responses but now it's completely different think positively and the techniques which i told you to how you can perform um, different techniques to actually you know start working on qualifying the exam uh, there are i know people are working hard people have uh, tried their um, try writing down the time table of what should be completed first which subject has to be read before i know understand i understand everything but also i want you to um, change your learning technique this can help majorly uh, there are different as i told you there are different bodies and souls here right now but um, what we can do is we can actually learn different maybe you read in silent and it uh, you actually by heart it, by reading silently but you know what is different in me i actually tell uh, i actually read out aloud until and unless i don't hear my voice i believe that no i don't know i um, i i haven't learned anything it actually happens so you must understand what technique is actually working on you is reading silently helping me is writing down helping me try all the techniques nothing is bad in it okay or uh, is reading silently helping me and you can just do it accordingly just try changing your learning technique i would suggest it will actually help you will see a miracle and most importantly writing down answer after reading them or revising them takes time a lot of time some people can actually be beneficial out of it the people will be able to remember clearly i uh, completely agree but you can actually start marking things you know you could take a scale a pencil and you could just try to highlight underline things while revising it will be like you are actually seeing the word you are actually focusing on the word you are actually reading that word and you are um, sorry you are actually listening to your own voice so it is helping you with auditory memory iconic memory the memory of seeing and uh, your reading memory okay so this is everything which you could actually um imply on yourself and it will actually help you cracking your examination and of course just do your hard work i believe the fruits will come yes ma'am thank you thank you so much and thank you. thank you so much for your wonderful presentation ma'am and i think we have a couple of questions we can wind it up and ask you a couple of questions do any food habits uh, have any ability to change the stress conditions ma'am to increase or decreasing stress conditions can we able to decrease the stress conditions by having healthy food and all mm-hmm. yes actually um so first of all um yes stress conditions can be changed uh, when uh, if the stress is going severe level of uh, or not you can just check on it keep a check on it but uh, before that what you can do is whenever you wake up just um, before the breakfast okay on empty stomach you could drink a glass of water it is actually helping you wake up and start your day healthy okay and if for the girls who are listening to me the glass of water can actually help you with acne and pimples so 
you don't have to use other you know products or creams to just uh, let the pimple go away it, uh, the glass of water is actually helping so for everyone just take a glass of water before the breakfast okay on empty stomach again fruits or uh, citrus fruits like oranges uh, is actually helping you or uh, to relax the hormones which uh, you know leads to stress okay and uh, avocado avocado is also very uh, healthy uh, fat and uh, yeah the availability of avocado is uh, very you know very uh, less so it will be difficult but we could go for bananas we could go for um, citrus fruits and an empty um, stomach glass of water it will be really helpful for you and uh, the technique which you could imply is uh, you know uh, as i told you uh, you have to change your negative thoughts to positive positive thoughts so you what you can do is you could be a book with you a book and pen with you and uh, everywhere you go and just whenever you are stressed out whenever you feel like okay i'm getting frustrated right now you could just write down your thought in one minute there are 60000 thoughts which occurs in your mind though you are not aware about all of those because the brain acts as a machine which actually throws out all the useless thoughts in your subconscious mind and you only remember the thoughts which are uh, quite similar to the thoughts which you paid attention before in the past so brain thinks like okay things in a way that uh, this thought which uh, i feel is similar to previous one i believe it's useful thought for this person so i'll uh, restore this uh, thought in that person's mind so this actually process goes on here so what you can do is you can write down all the thoughts which are actually you know um, uh, you are able to remember you are actually able to be aware about it no matter how many you want to write down you don't have to overthink about those thoughts like what i thought about before so you don't have to do that okay that is again some different thing there is something overthinking which we talk about you just have to do it yes could be uh, just told that journaling can be done yes it is the technique is called journaling you can write down your thought in your journal or don't have to maintain the diary sort of in a good handwriting with a good presentation with markers and highlighters no just write down the way you want to just speak your heart out and what happen will be that you will be actually aware about your thoughts then you will know that okay this situation is giving me this negative thought next time when that situation occurs you will be aware about talking in your mind and you will actually instruct that okay this thought is negative which i got previously and i now i don't want that thought and brain will actually throw that thought away and here what you will do is you are actually managing stress you are actually controlling the severity level of the stress getting my point yeah. so what you have to do is just writing down thoughts every other thing will be happening by the brain the brain will work out work everything out well you just have to instruct the brain in a similar way and everything will be good okay and so many people and so many studies are suggesting that uh, music have that ability to reduce our reduction of stress ma'am do you do you think that music have the capability to reduce one stress uh, sorry can you please repeat the question hello ma'am is it audible now mm -hmm, yes. so many studies are suggesting that uh, mm -hmm. music have the capacity or capability to reduce the stress levels in individual so what is your comment on this ma'am okay uh, yes we do have a uh, if we talk about brain actually the brain has the uh, capacity and capability to reduce down the stress but uh, only when you are actually getting aware about the stress okay there are no uh, such medications to reduce the stress and yeah some medications are used to stop the negative thoughts some medications are used to help with panic attacks yes ma'am but no medication i will again repeat no medication helps you in completely recover okay every medication in psychiatry every anti psychotic psychiatric medication will help you manage the symptoms for a time being 
every doctor in this field will prescribe you the medication but for what time until and unless you are able to manage it but the role which you are playing is you yourself with your mind with your brain and with your mind only one dosage of maybe 5 mg 5 mg is around a high dose in psychiatric medications like uh, there are the dosages of medication or medications of psychiatric medicine are actually less from other medications from the general medication so here the dosages are um, actually prescribed less okay as uh, it directly impacts your brain so what happens here is uh, the timing of the dosage is also less and yes medication does have side effect every medication has side effect it's just the way body responds to it okay body changes some people don't get that side effect uh, really quick and some people does get it at the same time way so it's really different in body responses so um, normally the medications are avoided for the same reason as uh, the doses uh, sorry the dosage uh, are really less okay and it uh, directly impacts the brain so it even if i prescribe you the medication doctor prescribes you the medication what happens will be um, the one dosage for a day or suppose maximum two doses some kind of depending on the severity the level of your illness will be prescribed to so stress in your medications is raw actually not imp uh, sorry important um what you could do is the similar activity which i have told you and uh, increase your brain capacity accordingly it will actually help you. the result will be not quick as we get from the medicines but medicines doesn't really help you in curing remember that it is helping you in managing so you have to do it anyway the techniques which i have told you have to be performed so you could just indulge into them and it will be all okay and thank you so much i think we have done with the question and answer sessions also thank you so much uh, thank you so much for your wonderful presentation ma'am thanks for making it more interactive rather than a boring lecture and all so thank you so much for that <laughs> understand on that yeah. yeah i hope everybody loved the session and i want uh, everyone to again raise your hand to who found this session helpful and interesting yeah i think everybody will raise their hand okay i can see Thank you so much for for the hand. It was lovely addressing the topic. Okay, yes, and uh, yes, we. I'll just uh, tell you that we also have a page for the Healthy Mind Forum that is T H M Doctors on Instagram. Yes. Um, if after this, if anyone wants a treatment consultation from me or need help for any mental illnesses, what they can do is they can message. THM doctors and uh, one of my staff member will actually get back to you. Okay, they will quickly respond to you and uh, we could book a session in person mm -hmm. uh, on one-on-one -on -one basis. Okay, so mm -hmm. um, I think it's time for word of thanks, ma'am. If you give me two minutes, I'll conclude it as fast as possible. Uh, and you, if you want to say something, you can simply. Yeah, perfect. Yes. So yeah. now um, to conclude the session, um, I want everyone to relax again, and uh, it won't be much blabbering. I hope that uh, everyone loved it, and now it's time for some re refreshment, actually, but in a more motivational and uh, inspiring way. So just hold on to it, okay? Be patient for a while. There's a video coming up actually. You can see it now here. Let's hear it. इस दुनिया में ना तो कुछ मुश्किल होता है, ना ही आसान होता है. सारा खेल मानने का है जो मानता है कि उसके लिए मुश्किल है तो उसके लिए मुश्किल है और जो मान लेता है कि मेरे लिए आसान है तो उसके लिए सब आसान है
Nothing in this world is very easy, uh, uh, and nothing in this world is very difficult. But it's all yeah. depending upon our belief, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Just, uh, so, um, yeah. first of all, again, I would uh, tell everyone to follow all the techniques which I have mentioned. It will help you personally, okay? And uh, another thing, yeah. thank you uh, for all the gifts which I have received here on the chat. And uh, right now, I have received a uh, saga. Uh, thank you so much for um, uh, your feedback on uh, the session. Yes, hopefully we will uh, see if we could uh, be we will be able to arrange the session or not again. But uh, for the time being, you could uh, go to uh, the page and you could just uh, attend another workshops as well if you would like love to. And uh, I want everyone to note down my personal email ID if they are not comfortable writing on the. Uh, THM doctors, to, uh, if they believe that staff will read it out and uh, I won't, then you directly, you know, email me personally. That is uh, malihasable at gmail.com. So you, I'll read out uh, personally and uh, you can share your feedbacks or your problems with me, then I'll get back on it. Okay. So malihasable at gmail.com. I think we we'll, we can share it uh, in our page also, ma'am. We can share it definitely. No sure. So again, thank you so much, and thank you, uh, uh, thank you so yeah. much, Rahman for uh, assisting me so Sorry. well and uh, being an amazing moderator so far. Okay, and uh, yeah, if you would like to say anything, then we could conclude. Yes. Yeah, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you. I, I feel it as a great honor to propose the vote of thanks to all who have helped us in making this webinar such a resounding success. And I think I would like to thank our speaker, Dr. Malika Sable, for making excellent presentation and making this webinar interesting and meaningful. Uh, Ma'am, you said one point that uh, change your mind and you can change your habits and your body as well. That is exceptionally yes. perfect. Uh, you yes. said that it's okay to have stress rather than worrying about it. And I think it's a new perspective to on stress man. yeah i would like yes, to propose yeah hearty Thank word of thanks to our mentor tv narayana sir president ipa and as with the other as our chairperson ip education division dr rao sir president commonwealth pharmacist Thank association so for the webinar and i would like to express our profound gratitude to all the principals from various colleges across the india for their presence in this webinar i'm happy to Thank express you. word of thanks to our core team members of ipasf who have made this webinar a grand success I think I would like to thank the student coordinators of IPASF who always give their best for making a webinar super success. We are also grateful to the collaborators and organizations. Finally, the wonderful students who have turned up this in such a great numbers and not only from one state but also from different states and institutions across India. Thank you so much for your cooperation. Stay safe, stay healthy and stay in touch with us. I think I, I would like to thank uh, Yogendra. Um, PO for IPASF for uh, handling technically very well. And thank you so much, Yogendra. And thank you so much, Pragnamem, for giving this opportunity. Team IPASF will always strive hard in every which way for the advancement of budding pharmacists and for the upliftment of pharmacy globally. Keep supporting us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much.